Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So glad you're here. Today's topic is this is what you should do if you feel burnt out. Before we jump in today, I just want to say thank you so much for all the love and support. Uh, since starting up my channel and starting to make videos on the regular, I've gotten such a positive response and just I really appreciate you guys tuning in. And more importantly, I'm glad that the messages I'm speaking about are resonating with you because that's really where this is coming from. This is coming from my heart. This is really my purpose. This is uh, where a lot of my gifts lie with writing and speaking, being able to articulate my thoughts and emotions into words. So thank you so much for the support. And with that being said, we'll jump right in. So if you feel burnt out, it's very simple, rest. And a lot of you guys, you can click off and go, oh, damn, this is all he's gonna say. Tell me to rest, I know that, you know, I can't, right? And some of you guys might be triggered right away and say, I can't rest, he doesn't understand me, whatever, and click off and that's all good. But I wanted to give you the message right away that it really is that simple because if I'm watching a video, a lot of the time people will try to like tease it in. I'm like, nah, it's really just that simple about resting. But I have a lot to say about this topic, about why it's so difficult for us to rest, why it can be hard to slow down. If you're working on something big, you have got to take breaks. You have got to slow down and understand that there is a process of it. Uh, my former life, and I mean, it's always a part of me, but my former profession, I spent uh, 10 years in fitness. I ran my own uh, fitness business, trained hundreds and hundreds, if not a thousand people at this point. I have over like 9,000 sessions, blah, blah, blah. None of that crap matters. All to say I have a lot of experience in fitness and I would see the same thing over and over when people wanted to get in shape and they would say, they would go from not working out at all, you know, literally, I don't know, three, four, five, six months, a year, two, three, four, five years, however long it had been since they had been trying to get into a workout routine, lose weight and get in shape and they would come in full force and go, oh man, especially at the beginning of the year, right? People make New Year's resolutions and oh, I'm ready to do this. I'm ready to come in six days a week for two and a half hours. Uh, tell me I'm just gonna eat chicken and broccoli and do nothing but you know, fitness, fitness, fitness. So it's like they would go from this zero to 100 mentality and go, oh, I'm gonna grind, I'm gonna make this happen so fast. And what would happen? They would burn out because they're not used to doing that level of activity. They see all these people on Instagram, men and women, and go, oh, I'm gonna look like that. It is that easy, and unfortunately, there's so much misinformation and bad guidance when it comes to the fitness world, and it's like, I'm gonna lose 60 pounds in 30 days, and oh man, I'm gonna look incredible. That's like the worst way you can go about losing weight and actually building a physique and a body that you're comfortable with in a sustainable lifestyle. So this relates to burnout because again, people would come in full force, go from not working out at all, wanting to do like two and a half hours, six days a week and eating nothing but meal prep stuff in this intense lifestyle. So they went from one extreme to another extreme. They got burnt out. They didn't see any results. They felt discouraged and they would quit. So it's as simple as if you feel burnt out right now, take a deep breath, slow down, and just rest. Just rest, take a day off, take a couple days off. It's not gonna hurt you. As a matter of fact, if you've been really grinding and you feel burnt out, it's because you need a rest. This is your mind, this is your body, this is your soul, your spirit, talking about rest and telling you that you need to slow down and you need to recover. So I made a lot of notes about this today. A lot of things came uh, came to my mind and just, you know, all the downloads were coming through. What your growth is, what your path is, is it's a dance between stimulation and challenge and rest and recovery. So we're gonna go along with this example of fitness. If you're trying to get in shape, you work out a little bit to the best of your ability, do not overdo it, but the real progress comes when you lay back and you rest and you allow your body to adapt and recover. So you go and you lift some weights. Great, you told your body I need to get stronger. If you go in the next day without resting and you just go and go and go, you're never giving your body a chance to rest and recover and therefore heal and allow the progression to happen. It's the same thing with your goals. If you're going and building a business or have this grand vision, and you're going and going and grinding and grinding and thinking all day, all night, getting off work and trying to do this side project and trying this and you're burnt out, 
slow down. Your energy is what you need to be mindful of because what happens is if you just keep going, this is why you're at where you're at. You're at a burnout stage and you've got to take time off. When you take time off and allow your energy reserves to recover, allow your body to heal, allow your mind and energy to clear, you will come back even stronger the next day, just like you do in the gym. If you've been working out for five days, I always tell my clients, I'm like, you need to rest and relax. Allow your energy reserves to come back up. Allow your muscles to heal. Allow your mind to calm down. When you come back in the gym, you'll have the best couple of workouts in your life. You have got to play that dance between stimulation and pushing and rest and recovery. A couple of the things that I want to say is please don't take any of this stuff out of context. Uh, if you are working, you have to work hard consistently in order to create and manifest your desires on the physical plane. You have to. But again, it's a balance between the two. If you burn out too much, you're not gonna see any progress. You ever had it where you know, you're know, you really stressed out about a situation and you're trying to find a solution, you've been thinking about it, thinking about it, then you take some time off because you're burnt out and all of a sudden, randomly, you're like making coffee in the morning and ding, the light bulb turns on. That's because you allowed the space in your life for the download to come through. You, you gave your soul, you gave your body, your mind the task of figuring out the solution to whatever it is you're going towards. And now that you've given yourself the rest and relaxation period and the space, that's when the answers come a lot of the time, maybe in a dream, again, random time when you're just relaxing. We need to have that dance. What I've also learned in my own experience and also with clients is that overworking and needing to do the hustle mentality, grind all day, I'll sleep when I'm dead mentality, that's so toxic, it's actually a trauma response. And the need to overwork and continue to go until you stop without resting is an underlying belief that I'm not good enough the way that I am, my self-worth is low, therefore I need to continue to work in order to prove to myself and others that I'm worthy through my accomplishments, but that is not sustainable. It's really not. Uh, that's really where it comes from though. It's a belief that I'm not good enough the way that I am. I need to do more and achieve more in order to be successful. So I'll sleep when I'm dead. It's the only way I'm gonna do it. Uh, 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 uh. Lot to say about that. First thing I'll do is give you an example of one of my personal training clients. Actually, the last uh, one of the last personal training clients. I don't wanna say ever, but I kind of transitioned out of fitness even though I still get inquiries about it. We'll call him Bob uh, in case he's watching, of course, to respect his anonymity. Uh, Bob has an autoimmune disorder called CIDP. It's cardio inflammatory radicular neuropathy or polyneuropathy. Yes, or chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy. That's what it is, CIDP. It's a rare autoimmune disorder basically when your body starts attacking the myelin sheaths on your nerve cells and you start to, your body literally starts to shut down. You have these uh, motor uh, dysfunctions similar to like a Parkinson's or something like that. And so with him, I've worked with him, or had worked with him, we just ended our, uh, our working relationship, of course we're still friends now, uh, of like two and a half years. And with Bob, what, towards the end of our relationship, I really worked on the mental and emotional aspect with him and tried to impart understanding within himself about why the CIDP flares up and why things happen. He is one of the go, 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 I can't slow down. I've got to work 12 hours a day, burn both candles at the end because if I don't, I'm not going to get what I am done. And he's like the top of his field. Like he is literally one of the best experts in the world in his field. I don't want to dive in too much to his information again because I want to protect his anonymity. Uh, but he is brilliant and literally at the top of his field. He's a professor at a major university, all these things. We got his body back, but the CIDP would come back here and there and he has uh, a wife with Alzheimer's and so he's just super stressed out, he's taking care of her. So anyways, all this to be saying, to me, what I tried to impart with him was, sure, the autoimmune disorder, it's beyond me, there's a lot more factors that go into it, but from what I saw, 
The autoimmune disorder would flare up when he was so stressed out and he couldn't relax. He's like, I can't relax. I can't slow down. Oh, it's not easy for me to relax. It's not easy. And I was like, I know, but we've got to work on it because unless you teach your mind and your body to relax, one, you're not going to see the progress you want to see with your physical body. And two, this is going to trigger the CIDP to become more pronounced. And that's what would happen. And he would have like, oh my God, I can't feel my leg today and drop foot and all these things. So I need to be more concise and brief with you guys. It's about learning to rest and relax. If you can't, it's a trauma response or it can be a trauma response because you don't feel uh, you're good enough. So you feel you need to always go and accomplish and achieve more. And I feel like a loser and a failure if I'm not just working all the time. It's a trauma response. And you've got to understand that when you rest and relax, you come back even stronger especially you're watching this. This is a spiritual channel. Yes, it's mind and physical body too, but you're probably a light worker. You're a star seed. So you've been through a lot of trauma. You've been through a lot of trauma that makes you maybe naturally anxious or very sensitive to energy. So you tend to get anxious and worked out more quickly to others because of that sensitivity. Now, if you're sensitive to energy and you're always going, that anxiety can trigger up and force you to go, I, I gotta go, I gotta go. So the solution is rest and slow down. Dr. Joe Dispenza came into my mind. If you're not familiar with his work, I highly recommend just type in Dr. Joe Dispenza and start looking at videos on YouTube. He's got some amazing books. And what he talks about is, again, being a spiritual person and you being aligned with this video. We're moving from the 3D to the 5D. You either have ascended into the 5D consciousness or you have are in the journey of ascending and transforming your consciousness in from 3D to 5D. 3D is matter versus matter, as Joe Dispenza says. Uh, the harder I work, the more I get, the more I create. Uh, 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 uh. That's the old paradigm. That's Newtonian physics. Now we're operating from the quantum on a higher elevated frequency and consciousness in the 5D, meaning we're creating from an energetic level. Now it's not about pushing and doing more. It's about aligning your frequency and your energy with that which you wish to bring into your world. And through the alignment, it's more about ease. It's more about flow rather than push, push, push. I'll grind and die, you know, sleep when I'm dead. So Joe Dispenza, look into him. We're creating from the quantum. Slow down and rest if you feel burns out. Take a deep breath. I realize I need to do that, man. I just, I go into the coffee shop and, and write a little bit and I'm like, okay, let me deliver the message in a clear and concise manner for you so that this can benefit you because I don't want you to be burnt out. I don't want you to be stressed. One of the things that have come up over in my life, and this is a quote that, this is the quote I'll give you at the end, but I'll say it now. I best serve others by serving myself first. In other words, if I'm burnt out, it's because I'm putting too much of my energy outward into other people, places, things, and I'm not putting enough energy inward, and therefore I'm burnt out. Again, the personal training example, if I'm sitting here training 10 to 12 hours a day in the gym, one hour sessions, and I don't even have time to work out for myself, eat good food, get enough sleep, how effective of a trainer am I gonna be if I'm not good for all of my clients. So it was more important to me as I found out later in my career, because I did do that uh, in the beginning, it's better for me to do less sessions in a day so that I'm rested, I have my workout in, my nutrition in, I'm hydrated, then I can be more for my clients. I best serve others by serving myself first. So as a light worker and a star seed, you wanna help others you're naturally inclined so it's easy for us to get carried away and put all of our energy outwards. You need to rest and relax. You need to focus on yourself. Everybody and everything you do benefits when you're a better version of yourself. And you can only do that when you take care of yourself. So don't let friends or people or family members guilt trip you into doing things you don't want to do. Take time and say, hey, just I'm not you know, feeling too well. I'm really burnt out. I need to just chill. But thank you for the invite. They're gonna respond how they're gonna respond. They may get triggered and blah, blah, blah. That's not your business. You gotta focus on you because you are in the process of ascending and creating a grand vision for your life. Focus on you. Your energy is gold. It really is. Best serve others by serving myself first. 
I can't help others if I'm not in a good place. I can't be an effective trainer. I can't be an effective mother or father or effective at work or have enough energy to create my side project while I transition out of the work, my nine to five, because I want to work for myself. I can't do that if I don't take care of my energy. Now, again, please don't take it out of context. You have responsibilities. You have things you have to look after. So I'm not saying neglect those things and just focus on yourself. No, you've got to be creative and come up with a solution and a game plan on how you can take care of your energy. How's your nutrition? Start with the basics. Are you exercising? Are you getting enough sleep? If not, what are the creative solutions for you to do that so you can take care of yourself and be the best version of that you can be for your family, for your friends, for your work, whatever's important to you? I used to always tell this also to clients. They would come in and or say, I just don't have time to work out, man. You know, I got a wife, I got kids, or, you know, I got a husband, I got to do this, I got to do this. Absolutely, you absolutely do have all that. But think about how much better you're going to be for your family and how much they're going to benefit from a rested, grounded version of you that's taking care of yourself. It's easy to get distracted in today's world of social media and all these outside influences. We're so overstimulated more than ever to allow those outside influences to affect your inner peace. But again, if you're not good and you're not centered, then you're not as good as you can be for your family. You're not as good as you can be for your work. Most importantly, you're not as good as you can be for yourself and the life that you wanna live. And when you truly focus on yourself, even though we've been brainwashed otherwise, that selfishness is a bad thing, no, no, no. As a light worker and a star seed, selfishness, selfishness is the best thing you can do and learn at this point. Because as you focus on yourself and your energy raises, you're in a place of peace and harmony and clarity. Literally everybody that you interact with, even if it's the bartender or the barista at Starbucks or the person you randomly chat with, they're all better off because they're encountering a better version of you. I best serve others by serving myself first. Now again, if you have kids and things like this, you have responsibilities, you need to take care of them, there's gonna be times where you're exhausted and you have to take care of these other things, you have to do that, of course. I'm saying that's not sustainable long-term and you've got to come up with creative solutions in order to take care of yourself so that you are a better mother, father, husband, wife, uh, boyfriend, girlfriend, coworker, et cetera, et cetera. So don't take these things out of context. Uh, Next thing I would love to share with you, um, not resting and overworking is a form of self-sabotage because this was at least my cycle. I would overwork myself so hard to where I'd burn out so much to where I literally couldn't do anything and I was so exhausted for days, weeks, even months at a time. My Therefore, my vision wasn't moving forward because I was so burnt out and I worked so hard on it and tried to force things to happen, the 3D Newtonian, more I do, the more it's gonna happen, uh-uh-uh. I would burn out and I would be so tired in the end that all of a sudden, none of my goals or aspirations were moving forward. Therefore, I could reinforce the belief that I'm a failure, I don't have what it takes, I can't do this, I can't do that, no. Again, the balance. So this is a form of self-sabotage. Things that we need to heal within ourselves. <clears throat> now, what I would say is, um, how do we do this? Focus on the basics, your health, your physical body. Are you in good shape? If not, it's okay. Work in just a little exercise, literally five minute jog around the block, a 10 minute walk around the block, crank out 20 push ups. do 50, 100 air squats, couple days, just push yourself just a little bit on a scale of one to 10. If 10 is super pushing yourself and one is doing nothing, take yourself to a five, six every day. Then the next day you'll do a five or six but that five or six will be a little bit elevated. Take a couple days off if you need, go back, take yourself to a five or six, maybe seven. Focus on your fitness, push a little bit because that physical body as we walk around will begin to be conditioned and have a higher energy level. Quit putting crap in your body, it's pretty simple, right? Eating whole healthy foods, fruits and vegetables, you've heard all this stuff before. You've heard all of it before, but hopefully maybe in this context, it'll be something that triggers and you go, oh, now I understand how it relates to my energy level and taking care of myself so that I can be a better version for the people and the things that I care about the most. Start with your sleep. You know, of course, if you're, you know, there's extenuating circumstances. If you've got, you know, a newborn baby and another three-year-old in the other room and you're crying, 
you're gonna have to do the best you can. Can you fit in naps? Are you still eating well? Are you still drinking enough water, hydrating yourself? Trying to get some quiet time for yourself when you can. Again, every situation is gonna be different. I just want you to take the underlying message and don't take it out of context. <clears throat> uh, that being said, the quote of today, I've already said a few times, I best serve others by serving myself first. Please take care of yourself because everybody and everything that's important to you will benefit. And we will, of course, pull a card today. Same deck I've been pulling and I'll probably pull it for a while uh, until I get my stuff out of storage all the way. Archangel Power Tarot card deck. <clears throat> Three taps. Always clear the energy of the past readings. We ask for the purest and most divine truth for the highest good of you, the highest good of the collective. I'm gonna shuffle, take a deep breath. Ooh. I always usually get chills when I'm shuffling or one pops out. Oh, that's the one. That is the one, my friends. So today's message is the nine of Ariel. What I always recommend doing is that you look at the picture first before we read the message, take the message out. Look at the picture first, the nine of Ariel. Notice anything that pops out, any colors, any images, and then tune into yourself. What comes up when you see these images? For me, it's nature. For me, it's the mountains. Maybe you live in the mountains or you've been wanting to go. This is your sign. Maybe you've always wanted to ride horses and that's a unicorn actually. Maybe you're a unicorn. Value yourself and your energy. You're a rare breed. Maybe it's the woman on there. She how happy, she relaxes. Anyways, take some Im look at the image and see what it conjures up for you. I'll read the message for you today. Your dreams are fulfilled. Hard work leads to great success a love for beautiful things in life. So again, the message of today, the video, is to rest. So yes, hard work leads to great success, but if it's only hard work, it's only hard work, it's only hard work, then you can't work as hard because you end up burning out. So you have to take time to rest. This is going to lead to your success, a love for the beautiful things in life. Maybe you've been going so fast, so hard, you're not taking time to realize the beauty that you currently have in your life and all the wonderful things, all the wonderful people, the opportunities that you have. So it's a practice of gratitude. That's what comes up for me. Be grateful for the beautiful things that you have in your life because what we focus on, we attract more of. So focus on the beautiful things that you have. I'll read you the extended reading of Nine of Ariel today. Uh, what do you have to say, my love? Nine of Ariel, your dreams are fulfilled. You've worked hard and now it's time to enjoy the finer things in life. Rest. You've acted with wisdom and been very cautious to ensure you make only the best choices. Your self-reliance has paid off. Now you have the opportunity to relax and enjoy life because you've earned it. You find spending time alone to be very enriching and gratifying, be a very enriching and gratifying experience. There's peace and well-being you only find in the quiet of your own thoughts. I don't make this stuff up, guys. I'm doing it live with you. These cards I pull, it's not random. There's no coincidences. You know that, light worker. This is about synchronicity. This is about alignment. Now it's time to pursue spiritual interests as you continue to evolve. So what comes up for me, maybe you need to find time to meditate. Do a guided meditation to bring your anxiety down or help with your depression or to help center you and relax mindful meditations. Additional meanings of this card, contentment, the beautiful things in life, retreating from the real world, home improvement and redecorating. Maybe something you like or you've been wanting to do that brings you peace is rearrange your house a little bit, just moving furniture around, shake up the energy, get a new plant, light some sage. Maybe that's relaxing to you. Maybe that's what's coming up and you're being called to do in order to create more peace and relaxation and rest in your life. That's all that I have for you today, guys. I love you so much. Thank you again for the wonderful support. It's peace and blessings to you and yours. And I thank you so much again. We'll see you next time. Peace.